What's good, gang? It's your boy, I-95 Ace, man. You already know we back with another reaction, man. Today, we got the final hours of NBA Youngboy's ex-manager, Big Dunk, man. Shout out to Dose of Mystery, man. I found this channel just browsing through YouTube a couple days ago, and I got hooked. So, I want to react to this one, bro. He got a five channel. He do his just do. He do his research. So, shout out to Dose of Mystery, man. If y'all like the video, make sure y'all leave a like, comment, share if you don't subscribe. Dose of Mystery going up fast, bro. His subscription going up. His views going up. So, we're going to hop into it and see what he's talking about on this one, man. The final hours of NBA Young Boys X Manager Big Dunk. Let's get it. Baton Rouge police are looking into a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22 year old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street around 20 last night. Burton performed under the, under the name G Money. Man, rest in peace to G Money, bro. I'll take him back right now. I don't we used to argue. We, we would argue every second. And we didn't even like each other. I want him back. A 29-year-old Desmond Hardinat died last night from his injuries. Police say Hardinat and a 32-year-old woman were both shot. I'm telling y'all, this was the turning point in YB life, bro. This was really sealed the deal, bro. This was started down with spiral, dog. I promise you. In the month of September, in the year 2017, and the beef between TBG, also known as Top Boy Gorillas, and BBG also known as Bottom Boy Gorillas, have gotten out of control. Claiming the life of Baton Rouge's respected hip hop rising rapper, Garrett Burton, also known as the real G Money. Baton Rouge police are looking into a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22 year old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street around 1.20 last night. Burton performed under the, under the name G Money. G Money, being affiliated with TBG, fell out with former TBG member and now famous rap star NBA Young Boy. The two were like brothers, with Young Boy often referring to G Money as his big bro, according to G Money. But things fell apart when Young Boy switched sides and G Money smashed Young Boy's sister. Not really. He mad. He mad about his sister too, though. About his sister. Yeah, I had a long time ago. From that moment on, is that is that really really what the beef is about? Is it really about YB sister? If anybody really really know, y'all let me know. Is it really about that? I mean, all beefs usually stem from a female, whether it be a sister, a girlfriend, an aunt. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just trying to give the situation a little too much benefit of the doubt. Onward, it was just time ticking down until an NBA affiliate by the name of Desmond Harnett, also known as Dump, was hit up and taken out. Dump was the then manager of NBA Young Boy, and the two had a close relationship, both as manager and artist and as friends. The feud was ignited, and the more time went on, the more tempers would begin to rise between the two rivals, TBG and BBG affiliates, NBA also known as Never Broke Again. This set things in motion for the inevitable to occur just about eight months after G Money's homicide. May 4th, 2018, just before 6 p.m., Dump would meet the same fate. That Friday, an unsuspecting Harnet, aka Dump, was of the intention to take some time to enjoy it with his family and friends, not knowing that it would be the last time he would be able to converse, smile, and laugh with them as he did that day. There he was, among his loved ones in the vicinity of the 2200 block of Narin Drive, which is near Bowell Street. As his attention was focused on the people in his company, he was unaware the assailants were closing in on his location to carry out a plot to take his life. A vehicle would pull up with an assailant brandishing a firearm and pulling the trigger. Y'all see what I'm saying? Y'all see why I rock with this channel, bro? The suspense rising, dog. Like, bro got a gift with this, this crime, this unsolved crime, hip hop shit. Bro got a real gift for, for real, for real. Several shots would follow in the direction of Dump, not only making contact with his body, but also that of a woman that was said in reports to be standing beside him. 
Everything from that moment sent a wave of emotions through those who saw the tragedy, which just occurred before their very eyes. Dump sister, Akisha Harnett Vidges, stated the reaction of the five to six witnesses who saw the drive-by. As per her words, everyone there was in a state of shock as they watched Dump fall to the ground. But what paints an even more grim picture of the sad reality is that he wasn't in a strange area. He wasn't in an unknown neighborhood. Dump was enjoying the company of his family and friends outside of his uncle's house, which was situated right next door to his childhood home. Both Dump and the female companion next to him were transported to the hospital. Unfortunately, even at the efforts of the doctors, Dump later succumbed to his injuries, while the female was listed as having non-life-threatening injuries. Else tonight on yesterday's double shooting on Naren Drive, Baton police say 29-year-old Desmond Hardnett died last Damn, night. Damn, he was injury. only 29? I didn't realize he was that young. He was only 29 years old. Investigations would lead law officials to confirm events were carried out by a passing vehicle, where shots were fired before immediately escaping from the crime scene. The aftermath of Dump's passing not only left the family searching for answers amid their mourning, but the Baton Rouge community felt the hole that was left as a result of his now permanent absence. The suspects were gone in the wind, but there are always two sides of a story when it involves a gun that may be influenced by gang rivalry between opposing camps. The one pieced together by investigators arriving on the scene and the one known to those in the gang culture aware of the crimes and who may be the ones responsible. As it turns out, the whispers began circulating about what may have led to Dump being taken out. It is alleged that dating back to the time of G-Money's passing, Dump- Bro, this is why I'm a firm believer in like, I ain't gonna say completely give up on your hood, you feel what I'm saying? Cause I go back to my neighborhood. But it's just like being there consistently, being there every day, being there all the time, being easily accessible when you know you on the way up or when you already up, you can't be doing that, bro. When you 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 can't you don't see Lil Wayne in Holly Grove all day long. You don't see Master P in the Calliope all day long. You don't see Trick Daddy in his neighborhood in my in Miami all day long. Like you can't when you when you start moving and you start climbing the ladder. I just named three old ass niggas. But when you climbing the ladder and you get to the top, you can't just be easily accessible in your in your hood, bro. I don't you know what I'm saying? It's tragic that Dump lost his life. And you know he was trying to spend a day with his family, but at the same time, Dump was who he was to YB. YB is who he is to the rap game. And it's just like, and that street shit too. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just, you got to be careful. You can't be too easily accessible, man. Was the one who was responsible for putting out a hit and orchestrating his homicide. This stemmed from G Money's blatant disrespect to his affiliate, NBA Young Boy, not only on songs, but the interview where he brags about his intimate relations with Youngboy's sister. As the story continues, the actions of Dump initiated impending retaliation, one that was allegedly put into play by G-Money's close affiliates, Fred O'Bang, Boulevard Quick, and Lit Yoshi. The retaliation was allegedly greenlit by his friend, boy, 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 that nigga Yoshi, boy, that nigga, that boy, and turned brother, Fred O'Bang. After the pain of losing G weighed heavily on his heart. And G, um, I, I can't, I can't say I have a favorite. I miss, I miss everything. I miss the good and the bad. I, Damn. I, I can't. You can see that boy finna cry, man. That nigga was hurt about that shit, bro. I been there though, bro. That shit hurt. Songs released by all three is rumored to hold the actual events of how the plan to take Dump's life came together. On Frito Bang's single, Body Bag, featuring Boulevard Quick, he performs the line, wet a dude just like a mop, chop a bullet, burn a dude just for hanging with the ops, put his homies in the box since he wanna drop some knots, call him right outside the house. He was begging, please stop. 
Damn. The reference to catching his rival right outside the house is alleged to be speaking about Dump and goes on to say that he was begging for his life before they ended it. Fred O'Bang didn't stop there. He proceeded to wrap the line that placed both Boulevard Quick and Lit Yoshi in the scenario. Quick be out his mind and your shit creeping like a caterpillar. Put one in the dirt. I know you dudes feeling kind of bitter. Then he proceeded to use a play on words to mention the name Dump, but also associating it with gunfire. And you know I'm with the shits. Pull up on an op, we gon' dump the whole clip. On the same song, Boulevard Quick also allegedly That might be a reach. I don't know. That might be a little reach. Hints at the scenario that took Dump's life when he raps the lyrics. I'm passing through your block. I'm trying to catch an op. I'm hanging out the window. I don't care who's outside. Little Yoshi would also release a song called Chase Down that was telling of a tale that allegedly was the rest of the details as to how Dump's life ended. The song was wiped from the internet, adding to speculation that it was in fact directed at Dump and the crime that took his life. On the track, Little Yoshi raps in vivid lyrics. She trying to scream. He trying to run. I met him on the other side. I hit him with that semi. He hit the ground. I let it rip. Yeah, we stand on that business. I'm going to have to do my research on this and see about this song that they said got white from the internet. Lit Yoshi then proceeded to continue allegedly detailing the hit with the lyrics. He tried to run. He tried to hide, but he got chased down. When I left that scene, I left him face down. The song alluded to Lit Yoshi being alone on the mission to take Dump's life with other alleged key figure, Boulevard Quick. When the vehicle pulled up and Boulevard Quick fired out the window, Dump tried to escape, but Little Yoshi was already in position to cut off his path and instead finishing him off while Dump was on the ground suffering from bullet wounds. The deed was done and allegedly engraved in song as a message to their rivals that took the life of their dear friend and brother, G Money. In reality, what they actually did was simply add more hatred to the feud. But LeVar Quick, one of those rumored to be involved in Dump's homicide, also lost his life on November 26, 2018 to the streets. Investigators would release- Bro, a all this go down within a year, bro. G, then Dump, then Quick, all within a year, bro. Literally, that's crazy. Court with the narrative that the feud between the rival factions was a result of a falling out with G Money and the NBA Young Boy, which included the statements G Money made about his sister. They further went on to state that Boulevard Quick. It's so wild to me when I watch like uh down. What's the uh what's the name of the song? Where they be like uh. I'm jugging off this iPhone 6. Uh, I'm jugging off this Android, bitch. Bro, when you see them all together and then literally like within, what, a year or two after that come out, it's just all type of beef. These niggas, it's bodies dropping. It's beef, bro. It's real blood shit with this shit, bro. It's crazy how this life shit work, bro. You can be together one day and the next day it can be completely divided, bro shooting may have tied into that feud and his affiliation with the late G Money. The celebrations are always temporary because it always turns into tears, pain, and loss. There are no winners in the gang culture, only losers in denial that their perceived victory is nothing but a catalyst to bring more retaliation. What's worse is that now the mentality has passed down to Dump's nephew, who he's basically a father to. All right, so big dump, Damn. man. This whole time thinking that bro son for real. That was your uncle, right? Yes, sir. It's like, man, he raised me. Anything, anything I wanted, anything I needed, he, he paid for. Right That's on, crazy. Right, I thought that was his son. I right don't point. No questions eggs, no question needed eggs about it. Lil Dump has followed suit in his uncle's footstep, building a bond with young boy. So what's your relationship like with uh, young boy? It's good. It's like, shit, everybody got their own problems. You feel me? Shit. It's like real ones collide at the right time. See, he got this going and I got that going. I'm not gonna risk that to go f with that because he got his own problems. 
and I got my own problems. You feel me? The pain of Dump's loss has brought him along the same path. Not that nigga said a bunch of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that nigga ain't say nothing for real. Realizing that the lifestyle Dump lived played a role. It's crazy because ain't nobody but me screaming R.I.P. you and lonely you down. Where them niggas at that so-called making you smile. You know I'm banging for you fuck these niggas. They got who they fuck with. I'm loyal to you, I don't make you so proud of me. I swear, fuck who don't rock with us. We are, we got. Bold in his passing. Hopefully, the young talent doesn't fall to the same trap his uncle fell to and steers clear of that life. Rest in peace, dump. Damn. That shit crazy, bro. Hey! Like I said, man, this the final hours of NBA Youngboy's ex-manager, Big Dunk, man. Rest in peace to Dunk. Rest in peace to all those that lost their life to this senseless shit, bro. You know what I mean? Prayers to the family, as always. If y'all like this video, man, y'all want more of these, make sure y'all leave a like, comment, share the video, subscribe. I'm going to keep them coming. Until next time, man, I'm not fire ace. I'm gone.